Um, this story, though, Sydney Morning Herald, The Age, the issue of China, the threat of war, we're told within three years that sort of lines up with what we're hearing out of the United States and elsewhere, though... Like clockwork, former PM Paul Keating, he came out uh, of the barricades defending China, issuing a statement. He said, Today, City Morning Held and Age Front Stories on Australia's supposed war risk with China represents, he says, the most egregious and provocative news presentation of any newspaper I have witnessed in over 50 years of active public life. Well, he doesn't mince his words, does he, Andrew? <laughs> He used to ring journos and give them a serve, didn't he? So I was on the end of a spray once. I thought it was a bit of a career highlight, really. But uh, 50 years seems a bit extreme. I, I don't know about this front page, to be honest, Peter. It's, it's fair enough to draw attention to it, but you're basically talking to people in uh, think tanks and academics. And uh, Peter Jennings said in 2020 that we'd be at uh, war on within months. But you're quite right to say that the US intelligence apparently shows there's a chance of uh, invasion of Taiwan within three years and then the US and Australia would have a difficult choice to make, wouldn't they? So fair enough to warn about that. Obviously, the government's going to lift defence spending substantially uh, without a nuclear mm. weapon. Have you really got any deterrent? But, uh, look, I don't think China's intention is to invade the Australian mainland. It's just, I guess, the suggestion is the Australian mainland could be attacked. No, but that's not the point. If Australia were to take pa that's part not... in the Taiwan conflict. I don't think that is the point. I think that's on the table. Uh, my point a little earlier on is I think you have to socialise this with Australians. I think they need to understand how real this is. And uh, the trigger point, yes, will be Taiwan. Now, if we don't go into that conflict and support the US or if the US itself doesn't go in, then that changes the game about our regional alliance and uh, we end up being basically you know a vassal state of China in economic terms and no independence because we no longer have the ANZUS relationship that we can rely on in any event with the Chinese uh, with the uh, Americans if they don't back Taiwan it's unlikely they're going to back Australia 